As long term care centers are under siege as the virus ramps up, KCCI's Lauren Donovan is live in Des Moines with how facilities are strengthening measures to combat the virus. Lauren, good morning. Good morning, Alex. From outside the Luther Park Senior Apartment Complex here in Des Moines, and there are four positive cases within the facility that we do know of. Polk County Health officials tell us they are closely monitoring this, but we know that statewide measures are being taken to isolate those within facilities like this who have tested positive. So, for example, if someone was COVID positive within a nursing home, they would relocate that individual to a separate ward, a separate area to keep them quarantined from others and they would be with other people who did test positive for COVID-19 as well. So the Iowa Healthcare Association spoke with us and they say there are 445 nursing facilities in the state. Many of them can establish these separate wings for quarantine. As we've mentioned, staff members cannot work in any other part of the facility and anyone working directly with positive patients must wear full protective gear. Our facilities will will comply and, and do whatever that physician advises uh, that, that we do uh, for that resident working with the local hospital if a, if a transfer is necessary. So there are still restrictions in place for anyone looking to visit someone regardless of whatever ward they're put into. And in terms of who's allowed in and outside the building, well, they all have to be screened before they go into that ward and before they come out of it. We're live in Des Moines, Lauren Donovan, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.